And every day, I practice martial arts. Watch out. So what do you feel, in your opinion, is the least important thing, aspect, to train on in WC? That other people may overly train on or focus, or train or focus on. Big fan. Wishing you continued success in everything you do. Uh, well, I, uh, that's actually a very good question. Um, again, uh, I cannot speak for all the different Wing Chun lineages because now, uh, just even within the wheelhouse of Yip Man Wing Chun, you have lots of different expressions of that and you have people who are, you, you know, you have to view it as like on a spectrum, okay? You have very conservative and traditional representations of Grandmaster Yip Man's art, like on that one end of the spectrum, more the kind of moyat way of doing things. They're very conservative, very, very traditional. And then on the other end of the spectrum, even within the kind of Yip Man wheelhouse, you have people who are starting to integrate more modern fighting methods in the way that they train. Mm -hmm. And um, some of those come from WT. Some of those come from the Wong Sun Leung lineage. Uh, like um, Ernie Barrios, he was a, uh, he's a, 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 a Cuban brother of mine. He's a, um, a Wong Sun Leung guy by way of Gary Lam. But he's also really big into boxing. He loves boxing. So he has, a, I think he calls his Wing Chun like applied body mechanics uh, mm -hmm. Wing Chun, and so he integrates a lot of kind of boxing training methods in the way that he teaches Wing Chun, right? So it's still kind of the Wong Chun Leung, Yip Man style Wing Chun, but it's been kind of, it's kind of gone a little bit in that direction, right? And then in our school, we also have a lot of kind of more modern training and teaching methods, right? And other ones as well, Mark Phillips, you know, integrates a kind of some kickboxing and self-defense ideas and some jujitsu stuff. And that all still comes out of the Yip Man Ninja on the other end of the spectrum from the more conservative styles, right? All right. And, um, and by the way, I only use Moyat as one example. There are obviously many other examples of the kind of more conservative, more kind of traditional, we keep it exactly the same way we believe the old man did it compared to some of the other styles where function is more the main issue, right? And so uh, that's why you can't say like, well, the problem with all Wing Chun schools is that they don't because I would be addressing only some on that spectrum and not others, right? Yeah, there's so, always so a spectrum. Yeah, so you can't, it, it's at this point, Wing Chun is so spread out throughout the world that uh, it's very difficult uh, for you to have any general statements about Wing Chun as an art. Uh, I think you can only have some general statements of Wing Chun people, which most of them are kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> that is a pretty true general statement. Uh, people always laugh. They, obviously, I have a lot of great friends in Wing Chun, not just yeah. in WT, but great friends outside of my own lineage. I, I consider Sifu David Peterson a great friend, uh, obviously a student of Wong Sun Leung, and other you know uh, representatives of different Wing Chun styles, uh, Jim Rosalando from Pin Sun Wing Chun. Yeah. Get along with these guys, and these people are gems of human beings and they're also excellent in their art but i also look at them to a certain degree as being um uh exceptions and not the rule mm. all right most wing chun people in general all right are uh, pretty annoying to talk to because they um un and, and the reason i say this is because they look everyone has the right to feel that their lineage and their version is the best one all right you've never met a wing chun person that says uh, this other lineage that I don't practice is way better than mine, okay? You never hear that, and you're not going to, all right? Uh, you might have people who respect other lineages if they're a little more open-minded. The lineage right? I practice is not the best. It's not the all. best, right? It's maybe, I wouldn't maybe suggest it to The anyone. lineage I practice may be third best among all of them, right? <laughs> third best. You would never hear a Wing Chun person say that, right? A, a more open-minded Wing Chun Our person. Our lineage is the RC Cola of Wing yeah, Chun. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> A more open-minded Wing Chun person might say, like, okay, they also respect these other lineages, right? But you will never hear someone say, the lineage I do is second best, right? <laughs> uh, oh, no. And so I get it. Like, that's part and parcel to doing it, right? By the way, I have also spent a, f spent a fair amount of time hanging out with uh, different Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners from different lines, and uh, spoiler alert, it's the same exact thing there, yeah, it's right? It's the same You everywhere. will talk to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu people like, yeah, all those guys are really good, but I'll tell you why my version is better or why the way we practice is better, right? So this is uh, the kind of the tribal nature of human beings. So for people to say, why are there so many Wing Chun? Uh, why are there so many politics in Wing Chun? It's like, you only think there are a lot of politics in Wing Chun because you're a Wing Chun person, you only pay attention to that. And people only think it's politics when it's against their own line. 
Oh, All right. Uh -huh. So, for example, uh, and and this is something kind of funny. Like people always go like, "Yo, man, why do you why do you gotta why is it gotta be about politics, right?" And whenever I hear someone say like write that online, I go, "The reason they say that is because someone said something about their line." You know when Wing Chun people have no problem with politics? When two different lineages of Wing Chun are arguing with each other, that's not their own. Not their own. Okay. So, for example, if uh, I just pull a, a totally random example, let's say the the uh, Lok Yu lineage and the Choi Sheng Tin lineage have beef. And mind you, they don't, okay? Yeah. And also both of those Sifus are passed away, so we would say they're, they're grand students or something. Let's say the two of them had beef. It's usually right. the grand students. No, it usually <laughs> is, right? Yeah, because all the top guys, they all know each other, yeah. right? And uh, you're a WT guy or Wong Sun Leung guy, and you sit back, and you would watch it, like I'm very fond of saying, like Michael Jackson eating the popcorn <laughs> in the movie theater, right? <laughs> you know, you're there in the comments, and you're going here. And guess what? Most people have zero problem with that. But you know what? That's politics. These two people can't get along because there's some kind of ancient beef between their Sifu. Support. And I'm, again, I'm just making this up as a random... I'm not saying this is actually the case, yeah. right? Uh, I could have picked any other two, right? And uh, I just chose to pick two that are not close to home. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, they have whatever reason of oh, this guy pissed off this guy and da 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 da, da And then it's, all, it's always personal. It's either money or it's personal or ego or something all like right. that, right? And you sit back and you watch that and no one goes like, man, politics are so corrosive in Wing Chun. No one says that because you're just watching two lineages bicker that you can distance yourself from. The moment someone says something salty about your lineage, you go, man, Ooh. freaking politics in Wing Chun, man, drives me crazy. All right. Why? Because now it hits you in your backyard. Yeah. Okay. You know when people also don't have a problem with politics? when they are talking about another lineage. So you, you go like, because people always feel that their view is relatively objective. So like, let's say I, as a WT person, say, uh, have an opinion to be court controversy about the William Jaron guys, of which WT historically had beef with. Right. All right. I, uh, and I'm saying this is not how I think at all, but I'm, just, I'm using a very g general example of how most people behave. Well, I'm giving a fair assessment of the, the William Jiang lineage and what I feel uh, 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 is wrong with the way they do things or, or the way uh, uh, William Jiang does things politically, right? That's not politics. That's my fair, unbiased assessment, all right? But how would the William Jiang person feel if I say that? Man, I hate politics. Yeah. And then what are they going to do? Attacked. He feels They're going attacked. to offer their fair, unbiased assessment about Leung Tang. Yeah. And I'm going to be, man, politics is so corrosive. Uh. So here's the problem. All Wing Chun people are hypocrites on this point. All of them. Massive, massive hypocrites. Because Wing Chun people have zero problems with the politics between two schools or two lineages within the Yip Man family that are not their own. They look at that while eating popcorn. And hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm also guilty of that. All right. But here's the thing. I like to think I'm maybe half a step above because I can go back and look at the WT politics and I can also sit back and just okay. eat because I have nothing to do with that anymore. I, I left the association. I, I, I don't get involved in that stuff. I'm up to date on all of it because I think it's important to kind of know where everyone's mind is. I try not to perpetuate it. Man. But, but you know, I, I can look at that stuff like an uninterested third party. Okay. But here's the thing. Without running out of popcorn. All Wing Chun people, all right, yeah. have no problem with politics outside of their lineage. And all Wing Chun people have no problem. I should say most. There's some. Most notably those I'm friends with. Have no problem with their own personal unbiased assessment of another Wing Chun lineage or Sifu or personality within the Wing Chun style. For them, that's not politics. Okay. The moment it gets hurled over their own fence into their walled garden of their lineage. Hmm. Man, isn't politics corrosive? corrosive? Isn't it terrible? Right? And so I started answering this question and then <laughs> veered way to the other side there, right? Okay. Straight into politics. So, but I think I did that as a big caveat as to there's literally nothing I can say that goes for everyone. All right? Because it's a spectrum. And also, I just wanted to kind of lay out the very, very tribal nature of Wing Chun people and how anything outside of their lineage is not politics, either 
separate or outgoing, but anything incoming suddenly is politics, right? Hmm. And they're all this way, okay? I'll tell you something, all right? Maybe this might not make some people happy. I have sat down and broken bread with Wing Chun masters, famous Wing Chun masters, high-level people yeah. of nearly every lineage within the Yip Man style. And many of them are beautiful humans and I love them to death. Yeah. But I never met one that didn't have an opinion about another Sifu that he wasn't, that didn't feel bad about sharing it with me. Okay. And it just further strengthens my hypothesis that people only think it's politics when it gets hurled in their backyard. Uh, when they when they hurl it out, oh, that's an un, that's an it's unbiased okay. assessment. Yeah. When someone says something about Lang Ting, no, 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 Lang Ting did this and this and this. I'm just speaking the truth here. This is not politics. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, also, in the '80s, your Sivu did this and this. Hey, hey, yo, yo, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> right, right. With the don't get so political. <laughs> all right. Okay. And um, sometimes because I I can also speak about Sivu Lang Ting. Uh, in what I hope people see is a kind of very honest and open. I, I can discuss his flaws without it being uh, um, judgmental, in my opinion. Because, hey, look, these are certain problems that have. And when other people don't like him, I can see it. All right. Some people in the comments take that license as, oh, so we could totally bash Lang Tang. Oh. All right. And I go, no, no, no. Look, I can tell you about his personality flaws because I've witnessed them firsthand. But I will also tell you that of the things that he did that were really, really great. Yeah. All right. That's not a chance for you to decide you can say that because guess what? I also have a relatively unbiased opinion of other Wing Chun Sifus out there because uh, I've been outside of the IWTA for 10 years and I can look at certain Sifus, whether it's Wong Sun Ng or Choi Sung Tin or all these guys here and go like, hey, these guys are really good at this. But there's also some things. There's always some cracks behind the curtain, okay. no matter who it is. All right. And if you speak openly and honestly about this stuff, but it's not your own Sifu, they're going to be like, hey, 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 what are you doing there? Hey, hey, take uh, it I'm easy. literally doing what you just did about Sifu Lang Tang. The right. only difference is I'm talking about your guy now and you get pissed. Yeah. All right? So if you really want to say it's not about politics, you got to be that non-political life. All right? And you also, I think, if you really want to say it's not about politics, okay, critique your own lineage. Give me five points of critique on your own style. Ooh. If you can't do that, Ooh. you're a politician. You're that'll a be, politician. That'll be interesting in the comments. Yeah. If you mm. cannot critique your own line, say, hey, look, our line is really good. You know, this is what our strengths are. Here's some of the liabilities of some of the things about our lineage, whether it's political or technical or whatever. All right. If you can't do that, you're an effing politician. That's all you are. Or you just don't have enough experience. You just don't know. You're just a beginner. Vote for Dre. Right? Exactly. Right. So, um, Wow. To circle back, all right, what do I feel is the least important thing that most Wing Chun people tend to focus on? Uh, I would say it's focusing on what the other Wing Chun schools do. Yeah. All right? It's like yeah. you need to focus on yourself and you need to improve yourself. Whether the other school does the bong sao too high or too low or with a bent wrist or straight wrist and that irritates you, that gets your panties in a bunch because it doesn't, it's not the way you do it, all right? How does that affect you? How does that affect you, all right? And the funny thing about people getting upset like about how other Wing Chun lineages do things mm -hmm. is that it goes, well, if you say the other Wing Chun sucks because let's say they do the bong sao with a bent wrist, you know, there's some styles they do it this way. And you say, wait, if you do bongs out with a bent wrist, I'm just going to grab your wrist and put you in a wrist lock, which I would say is probably a good liability. You should probably have a straight wrist. All right. But people, they don't leave it at that. They go, nah, these guys, they do it like this. And then, and then their whole thing is about, look how stupid those guys are for doing a bent wrist. And I go, yeah, there's a liability doing it with a bent wrist. I agree with you on that. Shouldn't it make you happy that you don't do it wrong? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't actually seem to make them happy that they have gotten the correct theology and that they have the real Wing Chun. They're not happy unless everyone else does it too. Ugh. But they don't want you mm. doing it if you're not part of their tribe. So they wow. literally have created a zero-sum game for themselves wow. in which they want to bitch about how every other Wing Chun style does it. All right? Which is like, well, isn't that what makes your style stand out because you don't do it that way or your style does it differently? 
Shouldn't you actually be happy about that? Why are you so damn focused on what someone else does? <laughs> wow. All right? Like, for example, in the world of jiu-jitsu, the very old school guys, like mm -hmm. uh, the more Helio Gracie, traditional jiu-jitsu self-defense yeah. guys, they're not big fans of leg locks, all right? Especially modern day leg locks. That's something that has really come out in the most, I mean, it's been there for a while, obviously, and there's some foot locks and ankle locks in the old Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but like, the real leg locking game as it is right now, if you don't have a very fleshed out leg locking game, you won't last in at the highest levels of Brazilian jiu-jitsu competition nowadays, right? Mm. And uh, the old school Gracie guys, We'll tell you all leg locks, that stuff will get you killed in a street fight because you're going for my leg and well, I'm just going to punch you in the face and so on and so forth. And um, the guys who do the leg locks are like those old school guys. Hmm. They're out of date. But you know what a lot of the leg lock guys don't do? They don't spend an inordinate amount of time bitching about the guys who don't do leg locks. <laughs> they just go, yeah, those guys don't believe in leg locks or whatever. We do leg locks and we're going to keep doing it. And they just go and they do it. Yeah. But the, if we were to make a Wing Chun analogy with this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu analogy, your Wing Chun style, your leg locking Wing Chun style, all you do is spend time talking ish about the non-leg locking Wing Chun style. And you go, oh my God, the good thing is so stupid. They don't want to add uh, leg, lock, leg locks to their game. What do they think? They're not blah, 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 blah. And they do wow. nothing but talk about this. Instead of going, hey, aren't you happy you got the leg locks? Why don't you keep training that? Why don't you keep getting better like the jiu-jitsu guys yeah. do, right? So I really wish Wing Chun people would maybe have an idea of what the other Wing Chun... I mean, look, it's not wrong to know the XYZ Wing Chun does it this way, the other Wing Chun does it that way, the Wan Kam Leung people stand this way, the, the Leung team people do it like this, the Choi Chung team people focus on... It's this. You need to know that stuff because that also helps you understand how to maybe use your style better or more effectively. But you cannot spend your entire day talking about let me tell you what's wrong with this Sifu's bong sao. Man. It's like that is what we like to call living rent free in someone's head. Oh. Someone's stupid bent wrist bong sao, all right? I'm sorry for people who do bent wrist bong sao. <laughs> is living rent free in your head and you don't even do that bong sao. Damn. That is a serious fail in my opinion. Damn. And that's what Wing Chun people spend their time doing. Bitching about stuff that they don't even practice. Damn. What the hell is that? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I know. What?